Hello there and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new lunchbox video for you guys. So let's just get right into it. Starting off with our very first lunchbox. I am doing another charcuterie. Now my kids really enjoy not having like a main dish sometimes. Sometimes they just enjoy having a bunch of different like small bites or snacks to have. So that is what I am doing. But I do want to make sure that I'm including some protein. So I'm adding in some hard boiled eggs and then I'm going to be doing a ham and cheese roll up just on its own, no tortilla or anything. So placing a slice of cheese in the middle of the slice of ham. You can also do turkey if you'd like or roast beef or something, but they like this combination. So I'm just gonna cut that in half so that it fits in these little cupcake liners, which by the way, everything that I'm using in today's video will be linked in the description box for easy access to these supplies. Now I'm using just whatever I already have in my fridge. I don't like going out and buying just random things just to put in their lunch. I'm going to be using things that we actually eat here in the house for dinners, for lunching, for snacking. So I'm going to be using some broccoli and then I also have some cut pineapple left over from just the week from whenever I go to like to Costco or Aldi or something. And of course who doesn't like enjoying crunchy items in their lunches. So their crunchy item is going to be some crackers that I have left over. I have one sleeve left over of some scalloped crackers from Trader Joe's that I needed to use up. So I'm including them here. And then for their dessert, I'm including a little homemade funfetti bite. They are so delicious, really easy to make. I'll include that recipe down below. But if you're familiar with the brand Little Bites, they make like little snack size muffins that come in pouches. This is just their healthier copycat version of that, in my opinion. Just make up a batch, freeze them, and they defrost by the time your kids sit down to eat their lunch. The second lunchbox idea, I'm gonna be utilizing the thermoses for a hot lunch. And I love using these thermoses because it's great for leftovers. So I am gonna be using some leftover Mexican rice that I made the night before, along with some mini tacos that are really, really cute. They're from Costco, they're frozen. So I am gonna air fry them, but I'm gonna actually stick all of that into that thermos. So for now, what I'm doing is warming up the thermos by adding some boiling water to them, putting the lid on there while I prepare the rest of their lunch. For their vegetable, because I always make sure that I include a veggie, I'm gonna be using sugar snap peas in here. Now I have gotten so many comments on here from moms and dads and guardians of their kids that won't eat vegetables. And I always try to say, Maybe just start out by offering them some ranch. I know it's not like the healthiest option, but getting them to eat veggies with even just a little tiny bit of ranch is going to help in the long run, I think. And then once they get used to eating veggies, take away that ranch or offer them less until you eliminate it completely. Hopefully that's helpful. I know that must be super frustrating. I would probably be super frustrated too. I'm very blessed that my kids uh, really do enjoy the taste of vegetables. My daughter, on the other hand, is probably a little bit more picky. So for her, she, she'll eat these, but maybe like a bite or two. But as long as she's eating something that's somewhat healthy, I'm very happy about that. But give that a try if you guys are having issues getting your kids to eat healthy. I'm also including some more pineapple because we love our pineapple around here. And here is the Mexican rice. I'm going to actually just portion that out into a bowl and then warm it up in the microwave. Now here are those mini tacos. Like I mentioned, they were from Costco and there is quite a bit in here. There are 72 mini tacos. And I mean, there are tiny. There may be like two to three inches in length. So they are definitely gonna be fitting in these thermoses along with the rice. I'm just gonna kind of layer it. So the rice will be on the bottom, tacos on top, they are the perfect lunchbox food. And I guess kind of sticking with a the Mexican theme here, I'm giving my kids some churros. These are from Aldi. These have got to be what they serve at Taco Bell. If you've ever been to Taco Bell and ordered their cinnamon twist, these have to be it. They, I mean, they have to be, they taste exactly the same. And this bag, you guys, was like two bucks. So if you have an Aldi near you, definitely go get them while they are still there. Another amazing product from Aldi that I'm including in their lunch are these pub pretzels. These are my absolute favorite thing to snack on if I want something crunchy. They are like seasoned with like garlic salt and onion powder. They are so savory, very good. So I am including that in here for their crunchy treat. And now it's time. I always save like the hot part for 
for last just because I want it to stay warm as long as possible. I'm going to start assembling their thermos food. So I am going to be saving this water. I always dump it into another like bowl or measuring cup and save that water, let it cool down. I can use that for my dog's water or for plant water or something or even cooking water. So I'm going to definitely be reusing that. And then I am going to dry off the thermoses so that none of the food gets super wet. I'm going to do the same with the bottom of the lid as well. So how I'm going to layer this is I'm going to add some rice to the bottom. And guys, this is a generous serving of rice. So these are really nice thermos size. Again, I will link that down below, but there it's going to be layered with rice. And then I'm able to fit four of those mini tacos in there. They loved having this lunch at school. I wish I would have thought to include like some hot sauce or salsa for them because they love having some salsa to dip like their tacos in or their burritos or whatever Mexican food I give them. They love having hot sauce. And for their utensils, there is a spoon that is hidden in that lid. I love that. I love that it just takes up that space right there. Otherwise, it would just be a random lid. But inside, there's a little spoon. So it's like the perfect little lunchbox accessory. And you can see here that I am wiping the bottoms of both lids just to make sure that there's no like steam from whenever I close the thermos up. No steam is like captured underneath that lid to make sure that the water doesn't get on top of their food. So for those that are new to today's video, my name is Alicia. I have three kids. I have an 11 year old, an eight year old, and an almost four year old. And on my channel, you can find a lot of other kids lunchbox ideas. I have an after school snacks video along with a dessert treat video. And I'm actually coming out with another one here within the next week or two. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe right now because I would love to have you around. And for those that are not new to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. And for our last lunchbox idea, I'm gonna be making some chicken ranch wraps. My kids loved these so much and it was super easy to put together. So first off, I'm going to be giving them some carrot sticks and some broccoli, of course, using what I have in my fridge, not going out and buying really fancy or special items, just using whatever we have. Now I bought these sweet potato chips at Costco and my kids thought they were okay. I love them, but I can understand why they didn't really enjoy them. They're not as dry, I guess you could say, as like a regular potato chip. They weren't as crunchy. And I think that's what they were kind of missing. They were missing like that crunch factor. I love them. I love them that they're, I love that they're sweet potatoes first off and that they're also made with avocado oil. Like absolutely love them. So I guess that was just not a win for them, but a win for me, more for me, I guess. And then you could see those are the chicken strips that I'm going to be using. Those are also from Costco in the frozen section. I'm going to be heating them up in the air fryer. And then for their fruit, I'm going to be including some grapes and blueberries. But what I wanted to ask you guys is at what age do you stop cutting up their food into like bite-sized pieces. So I have an 11 year old who will go be going into junior high, so sixth grade next year. And I'm thinking I probably should stop cutting his grapes then. If you guys have older kids that still enjoy having school lunches, can you let me know if you cut their food up? Because I know grapes are a big choking hazard. So I'm just curious about what the overall opinion is about that. So for their wraps, I'm not using like special wraps that you can buy. I'm using straight up just regular flour tortillas. These are like the soft uh, taco flour ones that I get at Costco. They come in a two pack and I freeze them. That's all I'm using. I don't wanna buy, again, anything special. So just using tortillas that I've warmed up on the stovetop. And here you can see that I air fried three chicken strips. I am gonna be including some in my daughter's lunchbox. She does go to preschool. Her lunches are a little bit different from what I give to my kids because she is a little bit more picky. Plus she doesn't eat as much food as this is. Although this is really not a lot of food. I just, I always say I need to do this. But on my next lunchbox video that I will have soon, I'm gonna just show you guys like how small, I guess the portion sizes are of these lunchbox containers because they look massive on 
camera like this but really they're like the perfect portion size so i promise i will do that i will include that in the next video but anyway so that is why i'm doing so much chicken because that's a lot of chicken right there it looks like a ton so going back to their wraps i'm just putting a little smear of ranch i don't like having a bunch of condiments on there because it'll get all kind of messy so just a little bit of ranch and then i am throwing on some spring mix romaine lettuce chop that is chopped up would be really good too even with like some tomatoes or something would be very good now my older son said that they were bomb but that they sh could have used some avocado so i guess next time i will include some avocado on there i love the feedback though i appreciate it so if you decide to make these definitely throw on some avocado if your kids enjoy that now somebody i will not name names on my videos but somebody in my household left the flour tortilla bag open partially and you know what happens when that happens they dry out so i was having the darndest time trying to roll these up in fact i had to warm up another tortilla just in case because i figured one of these tortillas was going to break and sure enough that second tortilla started falling apart but it was not a big deal because i just placed that second tortilla underneath it and i actually ended up giving that one to my older son who eats a ton of food so i'm sure he was happy about that second tortilla being there So because that wrap was a little bit thicker, I had some issues trying to stuff that wrap in there, but I was able to get it in there and my son was also able to eat it. He did say it did not fall apart, so everything worked out well. And then for their dessert, I'm including a homemade Little Bites Coffee Cat chocolate chip muffin. So these are mini ones. I make up a batch of these freeze them and then i just keep them in my freezer i've been trying to do a lot of homemade treats at home to include in their lunches i think it's just more cost efficient that way also a lot healthier my kids really do like those little bite pouches but every time i open them they're always like wet or like moist or something i don't know if it's just like the oils coming off of it i don't like that so making my own kids lunchbox treats is still giving them that treat that they want and also it makes me happy too because it's something that i made at home and i know exactly what is going into those treats and that is it thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope this was helpful to you and i hope to see you in the next one bye guys